I'm so excited that today His Excellency the President of the Republic, Nana Adodanko Ekufuado, is, is commissioning, has commissioned the flower pot uh, interchange. You know this is long running. The government has revised from a two lane 60 meter uh, flyover at motorway and flower pot into an 802 meter interchange and also uh, added 2.5 kilometers of ground road and also the expansion and uh, fixing of a couple of uh, flyovers and also the East Legon underground bypass. Uh, it's all part of this project and we get to see the final commissioning today by His Excellency the President. We are grateful to the President and the Roads Minister for bringing this dream alive. I know just as everyone else, the people of Lejokuku and also Ayawaso West Wogon and East Legon and its environs are going to benefit greatly from this wonderful project. You are welcome. <laughs> It is an honor for me this afternoon and privilege to stand before you on behalf of the people, chiefs and people of the Great Akka region to welcome His Excellency the President and all of you to this significant infrastructure at Flower Ports. Today marks a monumental achievement, not only for the greater Accra region, but for Ghana as a whole, as we witness the transformation of another critical trans transportation here in Accra. Therefore, I wish to extend a special welcome to His Excellency the President of our Republic for taking time off his busy schedule to be with us to commission the flower port interchange. Your Excellency, all over the world, the development of road transport networks plays a vital role in the economic development of a country and is also used as an index to assess the extent of its development. As our population continues to grow, so does the need for improved infrastructure to support our communities to thrive economically. The Spinters area, as we already know, serves as a critical link within Accra's urban network. However, over the years, commuters have faced prolonged delays. Interchange stands as a testament to your government's commitment to address the traffic congestion that has long affected productivity 
and the quality of life of wrestlings along this corridor. This transformative project is a critical response to the persistent challenges that comes with the increasing demand of our expanding urban population. This new interchange will not only facilitate the movement of people and goods between the north and south sections of the Accra Motorway, but also ease the congestion at the flower pot intersection along the Spintex Road by providing a direct route from Bermakam and its surroundings to East Legon and vice versa. It will reduce travel time, enhance road safety, and improve daily experiences of thousands of commuters. This will ultimately strengthen the commercial and social dynamics within the region, opening new opportunities for economic growth and development. Your Excellency, permit me to use this opportunity on behalf of the chiefs and people of Greater Accra to express our profound gratitude for your visionary leadership on wavering dedication to improve Ghana's infrastructure. The journey towards enhanced infrastructure, particularly here in Accra, has been undoubtedly challenging. Yet, with your guidance, vision has been transformed into reality reshaping our landscape and fostering progress. Mr. President, few months ago, I joined you to cut a sword. I also joined you to commission the Bortemont to Mojo Scott Junction Road. On that very same day, Mr. President, you continued to come up to cut a sword for the expansion of the Tamamoto Way. The Ofenko to Nsawan Road is going on with admiration of motorists that plies that corridor. Obed progressing steadily and coordinating council. The Taman Pakadan Road infrastructure, the rail infrastructure is also there for us to see. Decision by the guests. Let us also take the opportunity to thank all stakeholders, including the Ministry of Roads and Highways and the contractors, the consultant, whose hard work and dedication have brought this project to fruition. Your commitment has contributed immensely to transform our region. To the people of Greater Accra, this interchange stands as a symbol of progress and resilience. It is also a reminder that as we continue to build, innovate, and improve, we also share the responsibility to maintain and use these resources wisely. In this light, I would like to urge the municipal assemblies, particularly Lejokuku, and Ayawaso West Wagon, under whose jurisdiction this interchange falls, to ensure that this area is kept clean. Additionally, I don't want to see kiosks, kiosks, and the chief executive should listen to me. We don't want to see kiosk containers littered all over there. It will destroy the beauty of this edifice that we all witness and commission today. No hawking around this area so that we can open up this area to make sure that we get the benefits of it. Let us work together to maintain the order and preserve the vital infrastructure. On this note, I wish to welcome His Excellency the President and everybody here for this momentous occasion once again, I thank you all for your kind attention and God bless our nation. So, we are delighted and tremendous.
tremendous appreciation to you, the President, to acknowledge our MCEs together with our parliamentary candidates. Help me welcome MCE for Lejokuku, Mordecai Akwashi. Nana Akufu Ado, President of the Republic of Ghana. For this historic tour of Teshi to commission the Spintex flyover project. I personally wish to thank His Excellency for his selfless contributions towards the national development agenda of the new patriotic party, especially the Teshi Lekma Road, the Teshi Breakwater Project, and the La Scala Road Refurbishment Project, and above all, this monumental flower pot exchange. Our revered Nana, I also want to thank you personally on behalf of the good people of Teshi for your meritorious duty tour of Teshi on October 26, 2020, during which you promised to return all unused and proposed military lands to the people of Teshi. The recent work of Ambassador Aikwe Otu on the payment of all outstanding compensations for acquired Gadangwe lands bear a living testimony to the fact that Nana, Nana's word is his bond. Your Excellency, true to your word of honor, you have made an illustrious son of this community, Honorable Dr. Bernard Okoboy. You have made Okoboy a full minister as you promised during your campaign tour of Teshi in 2020. Therefore, we are very proud to tell the whole world that Nana Akufu Addo is not a promise and failed statesman. When he promises, he delivers. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, for the honor of being a man of integrity and of truth. Your Excellency, on behalf of all Teshime and Ghanaians at large, I wish to thank you once again for the peace and security of our beloved Teshi community in particular and Ghana as a whole. Finally, we wish to state without any fear of congratulation that a good, man, a good workman deserves a good wage. Therefore, Teshime shall leave no stone unturned to ensure that return the MPP to power once again during the forthcoming presidential and parliamentary elections. Chopapa, no akachinango, ni moniko chopapa, achio e yise. It is with great joy that I join you all today to commission this newly constructed flower pot project. Today's event signifies an important step forward in our mission to drive the socioeconomic development of our country. The area around Flower Port, particularly Spinters Road, remains one of Accra's vibrant commercial hubs. Despite targeted in intercession improvement over the years to reduce congestion and improve connectivity at this critical junction, it has long struggled with heavy traffic congestions. The flower pot interchange is therefore a comprehensive solution 
to these long-standing traffic challenges, providing relief from congestion that has plagued this location for years. With this infrastructure, Mr. President, we mark another significant milestone in the government's commitment to improving road infrastructure across the country. I am proud to be part of this bold solution, which will greatly enhance mobility and improve the quality of life for residents and travelers alike. Our cherished guests, Permit me to give a brief history of the Flower Port Interchange Project. Between 2003 and 2006, several studies were conducted to evaluate travel needs and propose the necessary interventions to reduce travel time and improve the movement of goods, people, and services within the urban region. These studies identified key projects for implementation, including the school junction to motorway road, Gifford Road, Burma Camp Road, now known as the Mahama Road, Accra Tema Beach Road, Ashama Interchange, Teshi Link Road, and Matechuru Overpass, which is now known as the Flower Pot Interchange. As you may be aware, many of these projects initially identified under President Kofor's administration have either been completed or initiated. One notable project is this famous flower pot interchange that we are commissioning today. Although sword was cut, for this project in 2016. Actual constru construction began in March 2017 under the leadership of President Nana Adodankwa Ekufu Ado. Since then, the project has undergone significant modifications to enhance its scope and functionality. Originally as planned as two overpasses over the flower pot runabout and the motorway. The design was ingeniously expanded to include continuous viaducts from Palace Mall to Boundary Road, an extension beyond Palace Mall to facilitate movement from Spinters Road, a ramp down onto the motorway from Palace Mall, and a ramp up from Shashi. Additionally, general improvements were made to Boundary Road, the old tunnel, and surrounding roads in cantonments. These enhancements have resulted in a comprehensive and a modern interchange that we see today. An infrastructure truly designed to meet the needs of a growing urban population and enhance connectivity across the city of Accra. Let me highlight the key features of this project, which demonstrate the extent of our commitment to building an enduring solution. These impressive structures include an 802 meter viaduct extending from Palace Mall intersection with Marte Churu Road over the East Legon Boundary Road. Ramps from Shashi and towards Tema, providing seamless connectivity across the greater Accra metropolitan area. A newly constructed road through the old tunnel in East Legon towards the airport direction, and a road from Gifford Road overpass through Cantonments area. Dedicated walkways and cycling lanes, promoting safer travel for pedestrians and cyclists. Laybys to support public transportation along the project route and other essential elements such as drainage, signage, and crash barriers. This infrastructure also includes a 100 car parking area 
under the viaduct in East Legon to support local activities, along with two beautifully designed runabouts featuring fountains and public art. In addition to these infrastructural elements, we have thoughtfully designed vibrant and welcoming spaces under the flyover to enrich the community experience. These features, metal fencing to define the urban room space and enhance public safety. Murals painted on piers and retaining walls, adding aesthetic and cultural value to the environment. An off-street parking facility near the East Legon Police Station to alleviate on-street parking. A dedicated urban room with seating areas featuring thought-provoking art pieces offering a place for gathering and reflection. Public realm improvement at runabout, celebrating Ghanaian culture with fountain and art, depicting our traditions and culture. Recreational amenities, including five aside football pitch, basketball court, and table tennis areas, especially for the youth of Accra. Essential public service facilities, including food court, a fire station, police post, and an ambulance station. Additional parking to support the sporting facilities and, and local event centers in East Legon. Beyond enhancing mobility, these facilities were strategically de designed to support local businesses and generate employment opportunities. The Flowerport Interchange will enable seamless connectivity between key towns and areas such as Osu, La, Cantonments, Chado, East Airport, Lejokuku, East Legon, Adrigano, Adentan, and Medina, thereby stimulating economic activities and providing safer routes for commun commuters. This project was funded by the government of Ghana and a facility from Afri Azim Bank, constructed by Mrs. China Railway Number no. 5 Engineering Limited and supervised by Mrs. Diok Limited on behalf of the Department of Urban Rules, now the National Rules Authority. I am happy to, be, to say that this project has been completed to the highest standards and speculations upheld by the Ministry of Rules and Highways. Ladies and gentlemen, today's project is part of a broader vision. Other similar flagship projects aimed at improving the overall road network are also progressing steadily and will soon be ready for use by all Ghanaians. I want to take this opportunity to reaffirm the Ministry's commitment to improving the overall conditions of roads across the country. Despite the challenges we face, we remain determined to achieve this goal. As you may be aware, certain development partner-funded projects, including the Tema Aflao Road, have faced un unavoidable delays due to measures implemented under the debt exchange program. In the past days, I came across a trending video of a concerned citizen expressing frustration over the state of the Tema Aflao road project. The lady highlighted the challenges commuters endure, as, such as waking up much earlier than usual to avoid being stuck in morning traffic, and the inconvenience of children having to rise early to get to school on time. 
These difficulties are a direct result of delays in completing these critical projects due to the challenges we face with our creditors under the debt exchange program. We, are fully, we fully share the concerns of the lady and the general public and have activated our maintenance system to address the immediate issues. Specifically, for the Tema Aflawo Road, the mobile maintenance unit of the National Roads Authority has been tasked to undertake targeted interventions in the coming days to provide some relief to commuters. Similar maintenance efforts are being rolled out to mitigate the difficulties faced by motorists on other stalled projects, such as the Tema Akosomo Road project. We, are also, we, also, we have also completed asphalt overlays on the ground level of the Nungwa interchange and the PTC interchange in Takrade to alleviate the stress on motorists using these sessions. Distinguished guests, the completion of this project is vital to the socioeconomic development of our country. And so we continue to negotiate with our development partners to ensure the project's full completion. I urge all to remain patient and continue to support us as we work together towards achieving this shared goal. Ladies and gentlemen, it has come to my attention that public road infrastructure across the country is being used, is being defaced by unauthorized advertisements and notices. This includes the indiscriminate installation of outdoor advertisement structures, such as billboards and signposts, on medians and at intersections, as well as the posting of notices on road signs and traffic controllers. These practices not only contravene regulatory provisions, but also compromise road safety, diminish aesthetic value of our public spaces, and lead to misinformation for road users. I take this opportunity to urge the Advertising Association of Ghana to enforce its own code of conduct on outdoor advertisement and call on assemblies and the Ghana Police Service to work collaboratively with the Ghana National Roads Authority to ensure compliance and preserve the integrity of our road infrastructure. To ensure the durability and safety of our urban infrastructure, including this beautiful interchange, I have tasked the bridge maintenance session of the National Roads Authority to institute a robust maintenance system for all urban bridges. This includes conducting regular inspection, structural repairs, and replacing any damaged components on time. As I conclude, I wish to express my utmost gratitude to you, Mr. President, for your vision and leadership, which has made this remarkable achievement in the road sector possible. Mr. President, <laughs> to the people of Ghana, this state of the art interchange is built for you. I urge everyone to take pride in it, maintain it responsibly, and use it safely. Mr. President, colleague ministers, members of parliament, me, me, na me, I thank you for your attention. Mepa! Everybody! Let's go!
standing here today to commission the flower pot interchange project is both a privilege for me and a proud moment for our nation. This project is not merely the opening of a new infrastructure. It is the unveiling of a vision for Ghana's future. One that is driven by a commitment to lasting progress, inclusivity, and national pride. This interchange is a clear, tangible example of our promise to ensure that every Ghanaian feels the positive impact of our governance. When my administration took office in 2017, we made a solemn pledge to transform Ghana's infrastructure landscape. We knew the true national development rests upon a foundation of well-planned, well-executed infrastructure. Roads are not just physical connections. They are pathways to opportunity, prosperity, and a better quality of life for all. Today with this interchange, we we'll reaffirm that our commitment to progress is more than rhetoric. It is action built in stone and steel. The Farpot Interchange exemplifies my government's vision of a modern, interconnected, and prosperous Ghana. This project will significantly relieve the congestion that has long plagued this area, facilitating efficient movement along the Boundary Road, Spintex Road, and Burma Camp Bypass Corridors. Before today, the Flower Park Roundabout faced overwhelming traffic, often burdened with up to five, some 5,000 vehicles per hour during peak times. Today we turn a page and offer a solution designed not only to resolve today's challenges, but also to anticipate tomorrow's demands. The interchange with its two-tier structure, redesigned roundabouts, and the elevated north-south flyover linking Burma Camp Bypass to Boundary Road is an investment in the efficient future of this corridor. It will ease travel times, enhance the free flow of goods and services, and encourage economic vitality within the region. This is the future we envisaged, a future where infrastructure supports and amplifies our collective ambitions as a people. Such achievements do not occur by happenstance. The progress we see today is the product of strategic, focused leadership and the unwavering dedication of countless individuals. I commend the Ministry of Roads and Highways and its Department of Urban Roads under the dynamic leadership of its minister, the Honorable Francis Asensu Bwache, Bantama Asensu, the Member of Parliament for Bantama, and of his predecessor, the giant of Etiwa, Honorable Kwesi Amwakwata, the Member of Parliament for Etiwa West, and all the hardworking contractors and consultants who have put their, poured their efforts into making this project a reality. But let us remember, this project is one among many. From the northern savannas to the southern coastlines, and from east to west, we're building a new Ghana, one where roads, bridges, schools, and hospitals rise as symbols of a nation that works for everyone. It is fitting then to acknowledge that this administration has constructed more roads and interchanges than any other in our nation's history. In the Great Accra region alone, we have completed the Pokwasi Interchange, Temamoto Way Interchange Phase 1, Obechebilamte Interchange Phase 1, the East Legon Underpass, 
And today, this flower pot interchange. Beyond Accra, we've also delivered the first ever interchanges in the eastern region at Suhum and in the northern region at Tamale. Each of these projects tells a story of commitment, foresight, and a Ghana that is continuously moving forward. Our journey continues with 14 additional interchanges currently underway across Ghana, each at different stages of completion. In Greater Accra, we're building interchanges at Obete Bilamte Interchange Phase 2, Nungwa, Ajingano, Bombaria, Pram Pram, Dawinya, Savannah, and Tewamut, Tamamoto Way Phase 2. In the Ashanti region, ongoing projects include the Swami Interchange Phase 1, Anumanji, Makro Magazine New Road, Abushuakurua, and Abrepo, as well as the PTC Interchange in Takrade in the Western region. These projects represent the scale of our ambition, a commitment to excellence and growth that knows no limits. Beyond interchanges, we have made substantial progress in road improvement projects across the nation. Through asphalt overlays, road rehabilitation, and reconstruction, we are creating a safer, smoother, and more efficient transportation network, enhancing riding quality and supporting socioeconomic development. Additional flagship projects, such as the dualization of Ofanko in Soam, Adenta Dodoa, Takradi Aguna Junction, and Kaswa Winneba are pro progressing remarkably well. Each of these projects underscores our resolve to build an infrastructure network that will uplift every Ghanaian in every corner of the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, the Flower Pot Interchange is a legacy for future generations. I call on the Ministry of Roads and Highways, the newly established National Roads Authority, traditional rulers, commuters, and indeed all Ghanaians to join hands in safeguarding this asset ensuring that it serves its purpose for the long term. As we open this new chapter, I also urge motorists to exercise caution. Let us prioritize safety, respect road regulations, and nurture a driving culture that reflects our aspirations as a nation. Let this interchange serve as a proud testament to what we can achieve together. A Ghana that builds, advances, and aspires towards greatness. May it serve the people of Ghana for generations to come. Accordingly, Nime, ladies and gentlemen, it is with considerable pride, and it is my singular honor to declare the flower pot interchange duly commissioned. What shall we say? Mr. <laughs>